Beloved Masters, ascension means attaining a clearer awareness of self and accepting the fact that you are a white fire seed atom facet of your mother, father, God. As you delve deeper and deeper within yourself, you come to realize your intimate connection with all that is. Once you have felt the exquisite bliss of a heart-to-heart -heart connection with our Father, Mother God, and you are able to draw fully on the adamantine particles of love light, your yearning for love is gradually fulfilled. Your hunger for sustenance will also be satisfied, and you will be given the strength, the will, and determination you require to joyfully complete your earthly mission. Energy is generated via the frequency patterns of attraction rather than patterns of resistance or friction. Thoughts, words, and emotions have either a helpful or a detrimental effect on the physical vessel, and they also create a certain band of frequencies within your auric field and beyond. Thereby, your reality on the physical plane is created. The laws of the universe state that you must always experience that which you create. Remember, the spoken word is the language of the physical world. The language of spirit is composed of light, sacred geometry, imagery, sound and color. When you are radiating the refined frequencies of love all around you, the negative forces will simply not affect you. My brave ones, you must become a tributary of the river of life a channel for the divine force of creation. Stagnation begins immediately when you stop the flow of adamantine particles into and through your sacred heart. As you become a sentinel of light, your aura will grow and glow as you become illumined by the radiance of spirit. You, your home, your neighborhood, city, state, province, and country all have an auric field whether it is bright or dim. The heart and soul of each country must be revived. When unity consciousness is lost, the spiritual life force of a country begins to wane. Remember, everything that exists has an aura. The divinity and awesome power of the Creator is in everything. Many souls are what could be termed spiritually bankrupt for they have either used up their allotment of adamant particles of life and light, and are now so steeped in the lower frequencies of the third and fourth dimensional world that they can no longer tap into the cosmic river of life and draw forth the full spectrum of light of the Creator, or since early childhood they have not been able to attain the required level of harmonious frequency patterns to ignite their allotment of adamantine particles stored within their sacred heart. Unfortunately, many dear souls take with them into death the greater portion of their allotment of Creator Light. These are the tormented souls who feel unloved and have led a life of suffering and often isolation nor violence, which was created by a sense of hopelessness, feelings of self-hatred and inferiority. They often focus their hatred and frustration outwardly, blaming others and fate for their failures while all the time being unaware that they are the source of their own pain and suffering. Many of these precious ones choose to come forth on what could be called the lower spectrum of shadow and light. At a soul level, they chose the overlay for the life's drama they would experience because they wished to overcome certain imbalanced frequency patterns from the past. However, many times the path they chose is too much of a challenge and they fall back into the negative patterns of many fruitless lifetimes. Those who have the least freedom of choice are driven by obsession, addictions, and unconscious impulses. They are controlled by past negative influences that are very difficult to correct. Remember, dear hearts, you are not judged by anyone but yourself, and you will always be given an opportunity to overcome past transgressions. Self-forgiveness is the first step in healing the past and reconnecting to the power within. It may seem heartless and uncaring, however, a self-master will gradually end relationships with people they are no longer in harmony with. 
There should be no judgment, just a gradual letting go and a withdrawal of severance of any energy cords of attachment. It is usually the other person who ends the relationship, for they can no longer receive the emotional energy they require from the enlightened person. So many lonely souls are seeking their soulmates, and this is taking place around the world as more and more souls reach a certain level of harmony within. For millions of you, this is the time when your soul has reached the furthermost point of its journey of separation, and you are now in the midst of the journey of reunion and integration. Your soul has gradually been infused with the divine discontent, which is slowly filtering into your consciousness, and you have turned inward in order to tame the ego and reconnect with the soul, the oversoul, and the multiple facets of your greater self. You now have the potential to connect with the many facets of your soul family, your higher self, your many oversouls, and your God Ray I Am Presence. On the other hand, many soulmates have similar soul vibrational patterns, but do not necessarily have similar physical auric patterns. Soul frequencies are stronger than physical frequency patterns, and they are stronger when you are in an emotional, heartfelt state. If the radiance is strong enough, the beauty of soul shines through. However, it may not be strong enough to overcome the physical, emotional, and mental traits that are not in harmony, one with another, in order to create a lasting, satisfying relationship. Physical relationships are difficult at best on the earthly plane and especially when you are striving for self-mastery and you are in the process of knowing thyself, which leads to constant transformational changes within and without. My brave ones, never forget, you are eternal and immortal. Your physical body is a temporary temple in which God dwells. The sacred heart is the temple of the soul. Therein is the essence of life, where true love resides, and where your awareness of infinity begins. The diamond core, God cell, within the sacred heart, contains the twelve rays of God, consciousness, which are etheric crystal prisms of refracted light, called rays that beam forth the essence of creation. Death is a metamorphosis, a changing of the cloak of flesh for a cloak of light. You have but one life, and that is eternal. You have assumed many roles while on your journey throughout eternity, however you are as you were in the beginning, within your sacred heart, a divine child of the Supreme Creator. To become Christed is to realize your divinity within, and then following unerringly the guidance of your God Self. In the higher realms, your vessel of light is pure, perfect, and indestructible. Envision a wholeness that has never been altered and has no imperfections. Staying centered within the Sacred Heart maintains your connection to the higher levels of God Consciousness and assures the steady flow of Creator Light, Love and Life. The Superconscious Mind is a magnet for higher Godly Truth. The Desire Body is a generating force within each person. You are dominated by either the Ego Desire Body, which is controlled by the physical senses, or the Spiritual Righteous Desire Body, which is controlled by the Higher Self. The subconscious, subjective mind is ruled by the conscious mind and past conditioning. It is programmed and reprogrammed through vibratory influences, whereby the lower negative thought forms of the past have convinced you that you are sinful, weak, imperfect, and inferior. Throughout your many past life experiences, you have created a powerful vortex of doubt, depression, fear, scarcity, and debilitating disease, which leads to premature death. These harmful thought forms have been repeated over and over until they are firmly entrenched within each individual subconscious mind, as well as within the collective consciousness belief structure, until they become the accepted reality of the masses. Your sacred mind always knows the truth, and it will eventually override the misconceptions of the conscious mind, which can be reprogrammed as you strive to clear the subconscious mind of negative influences. Your sacred mind is the direct connection to the God mind. Moderation in all things results in equilibrium, balance, and a sense of well-being. Self-mastery leads to control of the physical emotions and the thought processes of the lower mind. 
The self-master stands firmly centered within the sacred heart, in the midst of chaos and change, holding fast to the wisdom of the sacred mind as it gathers strength and guidance from our Father Mother God, always an observer of the process as all illusion slowly fades away. Ascension means attaining a clearer awareness of self and accepting the fact that you are an extension of your Father Mother God. As you begin the process of integrating the many facets of your higher self, you will also tap into your higher creative abilities. You must learn to perfect a state of alert relaxation, whereby you are the co-creator as well as an observer of the process. You must be patient, for there is a preparatory stage that must be followed in the process of activating your higher consciousness powers and attributes. The language of the unconscious and subconscious minds is primarily imagery. The activation and integration process of the subconscious, conscious and subconscious minds is greatly accelerated by the deliberate practice of perfecting your imagery and visualization skills. Perfecting your telethought skills requires an intense will to succeed, along with determination and concentration. Your progression into the higher realms of consciousness is a gradual awakening process whereby you awaken to the nudgings and wisdom of your soul self and the higher oversoul. As you step onto the path of enlightenment, you initiate the process of developing a conscious, mindful awareness. You must first focus on the physical aspects of your being, your physical vessel, the chakra system, your emotional nature, and your mental capabilities. Gradually over time, as you balance, harmonize, and integrate a certain degree of unity consciousness within your physical state of being, you are ready to access the vibrational patterns, wisdom, attributes, and abilities of the higher fourth and lower fifth dimensional realities. This is the basic transformational process called Ascension in Consciousness. This procedure includes joining, balancing, and integrating the right and left hemispheres of the brain, gaining access to your sacred mind, as well as balancing and harmonizing the seven etheric mind centers within the physical body called the chakra system. As you ignite the kundalini fire that is stored within the root chakra and your reserve of adamantine particles of light, which were stored there at birth for future use, you begin the process of opening and activating the seven seals of higher consciousness. You will gradually gain access to your sacred heart center and your diamond core god cell begins to blaze forth thereby magnifying and radiating in greater force the dynamic rays of God consciousness. This is your own special formula, your soul song, which was encoded within your crystalline structure before your journey into physicality. Your task is to magnify, increase and add to this soul signature of light as you move deeper and deeper into expanded God consciousness. You must realize that you exist in a whirlwind of vibrational frequencies created through your own forceful thoughts, actions, and intention. While existing in the lower frequency environment of a third and fourth dimensional reality, you only have access to energy forces composed of primal life force substance, the half-spectrum light of the inharmonious material planes of existence. These vibrational frequencies will respond to your thoughts and actions, whether positive or negative, eventually manifesting materially depending on the force and repetition of your thoughts. Your mental state of mind determines the outcome of your creative endeavors. Universal law assures you that you will experience the resulting manifested expressions of your thoughts and actions, whether positive or negative. Are you willing to strive to maintain a balanced forceful nature so that the frequency patterns you radiate forth into the world are loving, kind, and beneficial to all. If you are truly serious about developing your latent skills of telepathic communication, it is important that you devote some time each day to study and practice. Create a sacred space where you won't be disturbed and ask your guides and teachers to join you there. As you gradually attune to the higher realms and clear the distortions of the past from your personal column of light, which connects you with your I Am Presence, God Self, and our Father, Mother God, you will slowly develop your ability to maintain a constant alpha state. Thereafter, 
you will enjoy an ongoing relationship with your higher selves, your guides, teachers, the cosmic council of light, and the angelic realm. This is your ultimate goal. My brave ones, we know there can be much pain, discomfort, and fear as you move through these accelerated processes. Know that, together, we will overcome all adversity. Our mission is to open the way for any our mission is to open the way for any dear soul who expresses a desire to return to harmony. When you doubt, need inspiration or strength, come into your pyramid of light and we will give you courage, lift you up and inspire you. When you feel lonely or unloved, move into your sacred heart center and we will be waiting there to fill you with the radiant love of our Father, Mother God. I am Archangel Michael.